In my old parish in Wolvercote in, in Oxford, uh, I was very lucky to have somebody in the congregation called John Fenton, Canon John Fenton, who was a great biblical scholar. And he used to preach occasionally. And I can always remember him once in a sermon, suddenly leaning forward and saying, you know, God is a bit like a stamp collector. And there was a sort of collective silence in the congregation as everybody wondered what on earth he meant. And he went on, the thing about stamp collectors is that they love the stamps with all the little oddities and quirks and the imperfections. And it's the same with God, you know. He loves us with all our oddities and quirks. Well, I thought that was absolutely fantastic and it gave me great reassurance that God loved me with all my rough edges, all my imperfections, all the things that were rather quirky about me, me as me, warts and all. Of course, I know that there are aspects of me that go over from oddity into sinfulness and that needs transforming, healing and forgiving. But in that process, I think God will still respect the unique individual that I am. After all, if you think about stamp collectors again, they may well clean and restore their prized possessions, but they will still preserve those differences, those oddities, those quirks that make the stamps unique. And I think God will do the same for us. He's made a creation in which unique individuals can emerge. Uh, and he wants to honour that and respect that. And even uh, if you think about Christ's resurrection, in that Jesus Christ is raised as the unique person he was, even down to the holes in his hands and his feet. And if God respects us as the unique people we are, then I think so should we. We should remember that he loves us as we are and we can love ourselves as well. And remembering that might help us to stop beating ourselves up too much for falling short of an image of perfection that we can never achieve. God calls us to be ourselves, not alabaster saints. So perhaps on our journey through Lent this year, we could pause and thank God that he does love us as we are, that he transforms us as ourselves, and that he delights in us, and perhaps we can delight in ourselves too.